Okay, guys and gals, for this video, what do you say we take this old rock chucker bullet swage junior two? You know, old RCBS. Let's get this old junior two outfitted with this quick change system top plate by inline fabrication. And there's two awesome reasons why I'm doing this video in just a minute. I'm going to ask you guys to do something for me, okay? Okay. Here's two reasons why this is an awesome video. First off, uh, this press, I inherited it from my uh, father-in-law when he passed away, and uh, no one else in the family wanted it, and, you know, I was patient, sat back, no one wanted it, I took it. It was solid rust, solid rust. So uh, I, I sat it down and I worked it up, and, you know, I was going to paint this, the original colors, but he was a huge Boise State fan, so I painted it BSU, blue and orange, just to honor him and my wife loves this right and I actually I loaded on this for uh, some time before my channel started all right the second reason why this is one awesome video is because my good friend Dan over at inline fabrication he is a huge Boise State fan so would you guys do me a favor go down in the comments below and just let Dan know just how good this old rock chucker bullet swage is going to look with his number 16 oh man this is going to be so great so you know uh old dan being an oregon ducks fan i think you guys will uh help me out with this all right so the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and uh spin this around oh now wait all right one thing you want to do when you're working with something like uh this and you got your guns out you see how close we're coming you don't want to damage your guns so um you know, I better remove this, but before I do, God, let you guys check this out. You know, old Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum 3 screw. It's it's had an action job and it's it's like butter. It's like butter. It's nice. Guys, uh, I'm going to set this aside. I don't want to hit it, okay? Hang, hang on, guys. Uh, I think I'll just... I'll just leave it right there. I think it has just better odds sitting right there. So, all right. Are you guys ready to get this uh, plate mounted onto the press? So, when you mount the plate onto the press, the number 16 which is the number you're going to need for the Junior 2. You want it facing you as you're facing the bottom of the press. So, we'll begin. Take your first bolt. Run it in like that. First flat washer. Get your second nut threaded onto there. Push the washer up like that. Slide that into position. Now, the tricky part to this is this old RCBS uh, is not set up to where it's going to balance well for you. So let's just do this. Uh, we'll get our, our bolt ready and we'll, we'll line it up like that. Once we get it through, you kind of support it with your thumb like that. So there we go, and uh, it's squaring up pretty nice. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take my hex wrench towards the back, I'm going to support the press like that. The, uh, Okay, I'm not going to get it all the way tightened down, but while I'm tightening this, you know, I just got to tell you guys now, you guys, uh, you guys uh, aren't going to say anything about me, uh, you know, dropping that Ruger on the floor, are you? I mean, you know, if that gets out, anyone finds out that I dropped that old Ruger on the floor, I don't 
no. Well, next thing you know, people are unsubscribing from the channel and uh, people are making phone calls and things like that. So, this is what I want you to do. I just want you to kind of keep that between you and me, right? Right? Okay? Besides, you guys really didn't see anything anyway, did you? Oh, see, that's the thing. You know, what we, what we think we hear really isn't always what's happening. So, what do you say we see just how this turns out? And, uh, I gotta tell you guys this. Sometimes, I have to, I gotta take two runs at these. But, for this video, I got it on the first shot. So, there we go. So, uh, you know, <laughs> alright, well, we'll just deal with that later but, but there we go we, we got it set up this is nice uh, this is this is really nice um, uh, I, I can't say enough about these uh, quick change systems by inline fabrication uh, these presses I've had them sitting on the floor for uh, well, this one uh, my channel's four and a half years old it's been on the floor that long and so now uh, I think I'm gonna have to what do you guys say about the time college football kicks off this year we do a nice little load series just for our good friend Dan over inline fabrication. And hey, whatever you guys do, whatever you do, don't tell anybody what happened on this video. Guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. We'll see you on the next.